Yes. And that means we support LGBT rights, no? Yes. We support the board. Yes. Quiet. <laughs> we support the rights and education on sex. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, here's the thing. We support the rights of women to have an abortion at any stage of their pregnancy. Yes. 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 We support the rights for two men to marry. Yes. We support the right for two women to adopt a child. Yes. Do we know all of that? Yes. So the minister said something very important that it's ingrained in my mind. We can't go from an extreme to another extreme. That was one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. Okay? Human rights are not an extreme. Simply put, it's a baseline of all human beings live and work and play together with equality. One person is equal to the other. No one is more equal than the other. So, or less equal. So which is what something I pointed out to the minister. The minister said, oh, the minister said, um, we treat everyone equal, um, without no not lesser rights. And I pointed out, and not more rights either. Because people think women's rights, the gender equality and LGBT rights are more rights than the average person. No. It is that we have identified that there are people who have disadvantages. They're not on par with the livelihood of everyone else. Gay persons in the Caribbean, trans women, trans men. Sadly so, as we see in the platform based on experience, even young people, they don't have the right to go to these high level meetings. Why should they go? Why should they do Emily? Why should they be educated on sex? Even from the age of four, why do we need CSE for four years? A woman's right to an abortion, why does she have the right to an abortion? Should she do it? Things like this is what we always discuss, and particularly for the young advocates we have in the room. Um, I keep reiterating this because it's an important point. With advocacy comes learning. You will have to learn these new things, but you will have to keep learning them because they change. But they, they don't change from the values of what human rights are. They change the terminology, they change in our understanding, but never the values that all humans are born free and equal. All humans are born free. That is the first article in the UN Declaration of Human Rights. All humans are born free and equal in dignity and in rights. But our area is not on the entirety of human rights. We work in a component called sexual and reproductive health and rights. This is one of my most favorite things in the world. Sex. <laughs> because sex is a right. You have the right to sex. And once you have the right to sex with consent, mind you, you have the right to sexual health. You have the right to reproductive health. So, on brother term, Sexual reproductive health and rights. What really is it? This is participatory learning, so 